Mutually exclusive and inclusive events. Mutually exclusive events cannot occur at the same time. So to find the probability of one or the other, we find the probability of each and then add. So an example of mutually exclusive would be in a room of 10 people, there are three freshmen, four sophomores, two juniors, and one senior. Find the probability of selecting a sophomore or a senior. This is mutually exclusive because you can't be a sophomore and a senior at the same time. So we simply have to find the probability of being a sophomore, which is 4 out of 10 total, and add it to the probability of being a senior, which is 1 out of 10. And that gets us 5 out of 10, which reduces to 1 out of 2. Inclusive events can occur at the same time. To find the probability of one or the other, you have to find the probability of each individually and then add those two and then subtract off whatever overlap because whatever overlap there is is going to occur in both of those. So in a room of 10 people, there are 6 boys and 4 girls. Another way to categorize these 10 people are that 3 boys and 2 girls are in 9th grade. So you have a total of 5 people in 9th grade. Find the probability of selecting a girl or a freshman. Now you can have a freshman girl, which is what makes them inclusive because you can be that at the same time. So we need to first find the probability individually. So finding the probability of being a girl is 4 out of 10. Add the probability of being a freshman, and there are 5 total freshmen. And then subtract off whatever overlap that is, and the overlap is going to be the freshman girls. So if we come over here, we see that two girls are in the ninth grade. So those two girls have been categorized in both or have been counted in both of those categories. So we're going to subtract off basically one of the duplicates. So 4 plus 5 is 9 minus 2 is 7 tenths. So the probability of selecting a girl or freshman is 7 out of 10. Okay, so first we're going to look at these um, tables that represent rolling two number cubes. The table on the left shows you the various rolls that you're actually getting. The table on the right shows you the sums of those rolls. So we're going to find the probability of rolling a sum of 7 or a sum of 11. So we're going to focus more on the right side table. So a sum of 7 is going to be this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And a sum of 11 is going to be this one and this one. I did six sevens, so there's six out of 36 total. Two elevens, so two out of 36. None of the highlights that I did overlapped, in addition to the fact that obviously it can't be a, roll, a sum of seven and 11 at the same time, so these are mutually exclusive, so I don't have to subtract off overlap. <clears throat> this leaves me with eight out of 36. Two ninths. Now we're going to find the probability of rolling a sum of 1 or a sum of 13. Again, you can't have a sum of 1 and a sum of 13 at the same time, so these are clearly mutually exclusive. But as I look at my table of sums, which is this right table, I see that I don't have a sum of, of 1, my smallest sum is 2, and I don't have a sum of 13, my largest sum is 12. So a sum of 1 is 0 out of 36, a sum of 13 is 0 out of 36. Add those up, we get 0 out of 36, which is just 0. So the probability of that is 0, meaning that you're never going to get it. And in our last one, we're going to find the probability of rolling a 3 or a sum of 7 with two number cubes. So you'll notice that you don't have um, a sum of 3, it's just a 3 period. So rolling a sum of 3 is going to be anything in this column or this row. So rolling a 3, not a sum of 3, but rolling a 3 happened in either one of those rows. So I highlighted 6 numbers here and 6 numbers here, but that one was actually counted twice. So I highlighted 11 out of 36 numbers on the chart for a 3. We want to think about this sum of 7, so I go to my sum chart, and that would be these numbers right here. So a sum of 7 
is 6 out of 36. You can roll a 3 and a sum of 7. Here is a duplicate and there is a duplicate. So these two 7s right here came from rolling a 3 as well. So we have to subtract off the 2 out of 36 that they have in common, which reduces to 15 out of 36, or adds to 15 out of 36, which reduces to 5 out of 12. Made with DoodleCast Pro.